You guys like wearing watches? How about having dogs? So let's talk about it, dude. Watch Dogs Legions is a 2020 action-adventure game developed by UbiShits Toronto and published by Ubisoft. It's the latest and lamest third installment of the Watch Dog Mega Series, aka the comic books of video games and the sequel to Watch Dogs 2, set within a fictionalized representation of a dystopia futuristic London with the game following the hacking syndicate DeadSec. As they seek to clear their name because they've been framed, not only have they been framed, but now evil villain corporations are in an uprising with a private security militia and other freedom fighters running amok in London. It's on the brink of collapsing as it's swallowed into utter darkness and chaos. Watch Dogs Legions is everything and more from its previous generations. It has its open world, shooting, stealth, hacking, crazy amount of weird puzzles, Permit death as an option if you choose to allow it, tons of mini games like soccer and dots, and multiple ways to complete missions, upgrades, perks, unique weapons found inside the world with a new mechanic that everyone and anyone can be a playable protagonist. Which I will give Ubisoft one thing alone about this video game, being able to be anyone and recruiting anyone and making them a protagonist is excellent throughout the world as you can encounter characters that was hard coded in the game like Joel from The Last of Us and a female James Bond, but mostly it is all randomized and it makes for some cool character combinations like you can play as the armed security or even police officers, thugs, doctors, comedians, and I mean it really has its own general variety. I just wish that this game wasn't so damn boring because all the missions in this game are copy and paste, the buildings have the same premise and layout as each mission is placed on the opposite ends of the world so you can just kill more time of driving to them and to try to find out if it's legit or not and trying to just go to these missions as you drive from the ends of the earth to just same old same old of puzzle hacking puzzle hacking and they have it set up like this because you can use anyone as the main character so they they had to make the general mission so bare bones because everyone has to be able to complete them. So it's a huge feat with recruiting anybody, but it's also a setback because the level designs were so basic. I give kudos for Ubisoft for at least trying it out, and the story is kind of a drag as you play through. The first 5-6 hours of the game are really good and you partake in it, but then the rest of the game has become so obvious, monotonous, repetition, the plot of the game you can find out just by playing the first couple of hours, and it's the persistence to finish the game. You have to have the fucking desire of like a turtle racing the hare because even the turtle finished the race to finish this game because everything is slowed down and it's just like when you get to the end it was like was it even worth it it just left me feeling overall meh online is a joke with this game as it's a four player uh, instincts huge open ass world with four people and now they got this zombie mode that they're adding in which is like the equivalent of tossing shit at the wall and hoping that it sticks the DLC is out the ass and there's various microtransactions that you do not need to even own to complete the game but if you did buy certain things at will you can make the game easier and less grindy as there's like a map hack a uh, microtransaction, I kid you not, and legendary characters that have awesome equipment and gears. And also, there was not really any game-breaking bugs and glitches. I mean, any game-breaking bugs and glitches, but there was a lot of bugs and glitches. I didn't encounter encounter any slowdowns or crashes but like I said no game breaking bugs and glitches but definitely a lot of bugs and glitches you can't get them mixed up and honestly Watch Dog Legions isn't a bad game and not a supreme one either it's just a very mediocre game at best but nothing to scoff at if you want to play Pokemon the people or if you're a Watch Dogs fan in itself go ahead and pick this one up we here at NGI give Watch Dogs Legions an 8 out of 10. Make sure you stay up to date with all the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that like, and as always, subscribe. God bless and peace. Restricted Albion areas. Don't mind me, just doing recon for a bunch of insurgents. However, do anything suspicious, and she'll probably wind up with a bullet in the back of her head. You've been approved for entry.
we're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists.